Let's take a look at number 13 now. It says that there are three girls and five boys on Max's team. There are three girls and three boys on Marco's team. Which number sentence compares the fraction of girls on Max's team to the fraction of girls on Marco's team? You're given three sets of number sentences here with fractions. Take a moment, reread this. See if you could come up with some, some type of picture, something, to figure out the fraction of girls for Max, the fraction of girls for Marco's team, and which one represents that. Pause the video now, and when, you're, when you think you're ready, come on back, and we'll compare answers. All right. Whew, let's take a look at this. All right, so we're looking at Max's team against Marco's team. Max's team says there's three girls and five boys. Okay, so I'm going to draw a rectangle to represent Max's team. Max. And there's three girls and five boys. So with that, that makes me think I've got to see how many people are on the team. So three plus five. There's eight kids on the team. So let's divide this team up into eight equal parts. So half, half again, half again. That's four. And now we're going to have eight. Each part represents a teammate. And each one is an eighth. We have one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth all the way across. And it says here there are three girls and five boys. So we've got a girl, a girl, a girl, and then the rest are boy, 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 and a boy. Okay? So it looks to me that I have one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth are all girls. So if I add those all together, I could say three eighths or three out of the eight team members are girls, right? Okay, now let's take a look at Marco's team. So let's draw another rectangle about the same size because we're comparing one team against another. Marco. And Marco's team has, it says, three girls and three boys. So if I was to say three girls and three boys, then that would be three plus three, and that gives me six people on the team. So there's only six. So let's divide his team up into sixths, six equal pieces. So half, and this side will have three, and then over here we'll have three, okay? We have sixths now, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Um, and it says three girls, three boys. So we've got a girl here, a girl here, a girl here. And then we have a boy, boy, boy. And so we have one. I'm running out of room, huh? I'm going to erase Marco. Sorry, Marco. Goodbye. We'll put you down here. Marco. So we have one sixth, one sixth. And one, six. You add all those up, and you get three, six girls. Whoops, misspelled girls. So we're comparing three eighths against three six. And so I'm going to get some extra room here, so I'm going to get rid of that. So we have three eighths against three. Sixth, and we're going to say, okay, which one, which one's larger? Well, remember the numerator are the same, three parts against three parts. So they're the same, so we can look at the denominator. And when the denominator is smaller in fractions, that means it's larger individual pieces. So three out of the six pieces is going to be bigger than three out of the eight pieces. 
So we're going to have that alligator facing the, the three six. So we should be looking for the answers as three eighths is less than three six. And let's take a look here and see where it says that. Let's see, bring it up, and it looks like, looks like D. D is providing us with that answer. 3 eighths is less than 3 6. Whew. One more to go, guys. Here we go. All right, let's finish this up on problem 14. Hang in there. This one's a tough one, but I want you to persevere through, really give it some thought, and uh, see if we can figure this out, okay? It says, Mario has two pieces of paper that are the same size. That's good, okay? Same size. He colors four parts of each paper blue as shown to the right, and that's right over here, okay? So it looks like he has four sections here, blue, and one, two, three, four sections blue here. Hmm. He's got a little creative with where he was doing it. Mario says that the blue area on the first paper is the same as the blue area on the second paper. I guess, I guess meaning the same amount of space, the same size. Is he correct? All right. You're going to do some thought process on this. You have a picture here, but boy, that's really the way these are arranged. It's really kind of tough to tell, isn't it? So you may need to rearrange some things around a little bit to check it out. So work a little bit, pause the video. When you've done some work on this, come on back and let's see how yours compares to mine. Okay. So I'm looking at these papers and I'm seeing that he he went every other spot here uh, blue and then here when he went two blues, two not blues, two blues. So God, he's all over the place. So I'm looking at this thinking, okay, well, let's take a look at the fractions, okay? Because I do see one, two, three, four out of all the pieces and one, two, three, four out of all the pieces. So that's telling me, I think the numerator is gonna be the same. So what fraction, let's put them in fraction forms. So we've got on the first paper, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So paper number one, I'll do my fraction bar here, it's been cut up into eighths. And he's painted four sections blue. So we could say he's painted four eighths blue. Now let's take a look at the second paper and count how many uh, parts there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, okay. Six equal sections. So I'll do my fraction bar and my denominator will be six for six equal sections. And of course you did one, two, three, four. Four, six. So now you've been working on this this whole time and you're looking at the numerator. Look at that. The numerator is the same. Four sections compared to four sections. So now you just need to look at the denominator, right? The denominator, the smaller the denominator, the bigger each individual piece is going to be. Six is smaller than eight. So each individual sixth is going to be larger than each individual eighth. And you can even see that. Look at the one sixth right here compared to the one eighth right there. So the second paper is actually larger. So I'm going to put my symbol here because four eighths is less than four sixths like that. So now, this is paper number one, and this is paper number two, right? So I've forgotten. What did, uh, 
What did we say that again? Let's take a look over here. It says Mario says that the first paper is the same as the blue area on the second paper. Is he correct? No. He is not. The first paper is actually less. The, the blue sections are less than the second paper. You are done for the day, guys. Thanks so much.